All right, guys, welcome to JNC's Crazy Crossroads. I'm here for a 30 minute alone challenge at this warehouse that Chris and I did the other night. It's my belief that, uh, that when we're here, we, we picked up stuff. So it, is it possible I'll pick up anything tonight? Now, there's really not much in here to look at, but it is a creepy place. I'm gonna go through between the buildings. I'm just curious if the other building is open now. Maybe, maybe not. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different feeling being in here alone. So you guys are coming with, let's do this. All right guys, so I'm back at the warehouse to do an alone challenge. Now, Chris is on the live stream right here. And so uh, there's the live so stream, you. you guys will be in You're the video. So if you wanna put up comments, put them up right now. Hello. Hello. All right, I'm going in. It was nice knowing you guys. So uh, Chris is on the live stream. I'm gonna come in here and do my intro and uh, check this scary place out. Just wanna make sure that I'm the only one in here. And it's a fact, I'm the only one in here. All right, I'm gonna start this off just walking around here. Uh, last time, like I said, we heard some bangs, and uh, I don't think we picked up any voices or anything, but I'm going to try to be quiet. I know it's hard for me to be quiet sometimes, but I'm going to try and see what I can capture. And I'll get my flashlight out as well. Was that? Oh, that was freaking weird. <sighs> what the hell was that? It's hard to tell, like, if that's road noise or did I just hear something, like, whisper to me? I'm gonna go see if the other building is opened. There is a door over there, but I walked through like all these thorn bushes and it was locked last time, so I'm gonna go on the premise that it is also. Holy shit, that scared me. Sorry, guys, that was. <sighs> all right. Wow. I thought that was a bat, guys, you know. You know I'm afraid of bats. That scared the hell out of me. Ooh. Come out, come out, wherever you are, is there something here? It is one freaky place, man. Like, I know Chris is outside. That is... Uh, that 
was the second time I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something just go, shh. <laughs> Clearly there's nobody in here. Wow. Okay. Can you talk again? Was that, was that road noise or is there some type of spirit activity here? See, my theory is sometimes when you come to places, and it could be really any place, you could have the thought in your head of spirit activity and you could almost manifest it to come true. That's my belief. I think this, I think this is behind this place. I'm going to try to get back here. So last time we were here, something or somebody banged on the wall. So clearly somebody could have been back here. use this as a obviously as a dumping site Okay, that was really weird, so the door locked behind me. <laughs> Alright, you'll see Chris in a second on the live stream. But I didn't realize the door's locked behind us. Anyway, let's go peek in on Chris. And there he is. <laughs> no, I went out the back door and the it locked fuck? behind I, me. I could have sworn I heard you, and then I look over. The <laughs> you cocksucker! Fuck. I have to go back in I this way. Did, did you did you did you even see me? Would you shut your light off? No, I had the light on. Dude, look at look at look. the fucking. <laughs> Dude, I went out the I, I back door. I heard something. I'm looking over there. I went I'm out the back you, door and it locked behind me, so I got to go back in. All right, so. A little jump scare on Chris. <laughs> All right. That's weird. Okay, so I would definitely recommend putting on your earbuds. It could be road noise that I'm hearing, but it sounds just like whispers. It's weird. It just sounded like it was over there.
No, we know nobody's out back. What the frick? Oh, they had her. I've heard that on the live stream, I think. What's up there? Something just went bang again. That was a pretty loud bang. Now we were just back there. We went out that door right there. And uh, it's crazy. It sounded like a bang on the building. Now Chris is on the live stream up front there. So, if there's something here, can you move this for me? Looks like this is moving a little bit. Not much, I mean, it could just be from wind. Oh, this is crazy. Over back here, I keep hearing, almost it sounds like somebody just tapping a little bit on the wall and then little whispers again. Thing. I wonder if the Necrophonic app will pick up anything and uh, yeah really let me, let me see if Chris is messing with me guys look right there he's on the live out there you could see the light right there This is freaking weird. <clears throat> Dude, I thought you were messing with me. I got another bang on that back wall and plus I'm hearing like what sounds like whispers in here. Did the live cat capture that? Did you hear a bang? No. There was a bang on that back door, then on top of that, there was also, it sounds like somebody was talking in there. It's the creepiest thing ever, man. I'm gonna go back. So. I mean, Chris and I try to scare each other. Others sometimes. I'm gonna go back to the far corner again. This is where I'm hearing stuff, so. Either that or my mind is playing tricks on me. Would you bang again? Some of that's just creaks of the building, but there was a loud bang. See, there it goes. It's scary, <laughs> and I love it. Real, okay, okay.
There's his little taps every couple of minutes. What the freak? It's kind of fucked up. Excuse the language. I mean, this building is open too, like, if you look right here. So it's picking up outside noises, but geez, man, that's something over here. Hello? This might be the perfect spot to try the necrophonic app. <clears throat> Alright, so there's all kinds of bangs and thumps, and but that was a loud bang just like when we were here last time. It's a lot of road noise, but damn, I'm pretty sure I heard whispers, so I'm curious to see what the Necrophonic app says now. What I used to do in the videos is I used to go ahead and put in what I thought it said, and I may do that on this one just because I'm curious. I'm not always accurate in what I think it says, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sure try. Oof, all right. I'm apprehensive because... Uh, It just feels like like somebody's watching in here. Like, did you just hear that? Like, something just went like. Shh. Do that again. All right. Give this a shot and see what happens. All right. Necrophonic app. Can you tell me about this place? Tell me if one, if there's a spirit here, you want to communicate through this. And it was just a bang again. All right, can you tell me what this is all about? What's going on here? Who banged? What banged? Did I hear whispers? Is there a spirit in here? Say my name. So Who bangs on the wall? Tell me something pertinent to this place. As I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to shout this. Because clearly, there's bangs all around the building now. Can you let me know you're here? Are you a demon? 
are you my imagination freaky as hell there is a constant like tapping around the building some of it could be settling some of it sounds like hands that hit the building a few times and then there's like a little like whispers but then there's something clearly that I heard that went like I've been in here 21 minutes, so we have 9 minutes of this alone challenge. Let's see. I'm going to put on my like, can you tell me anything about this shirt? Who it belonged to? Was this a shirt of somebody who lived here? I'm so curious if this will say anything. So I feel like it said Joe. What's in here? Is there a demon in here? Five? So take your shirt off? What did I hear before? Was that a growl? Is that like it's a dreamin' or a demon? Is there any reason to be concerned here? Say my name. You know who I am, right? Say my name. Freaky. I thought it said my name. I thought it said two. <clears throat> I thought it said my name, but again, until I listen to it back, I don't know. But it did... I. When I was by that shirt over there, I thought it said something about shirt, and I thought when I asked if it was demons, it said there were five demons here. If there's something here, I'm all by myself in here. Let yourself be known. so disgusting in here. <coughs> Breathing in all kinds of nasty. <coughs> oh, that was a bang again. Pretty loud bang too. I feel very Very sick in here. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's the dust I'm breathing in, but I feel really, really sick. Last chance. I only got a couple more minutes. Last chance to show yourself. 
make yourself known. stomach is in knots. I, I, I don't know if it's this place, but I feel like I'm very nauseous right now. <clears throat> I don't even know. Maybe it's something I'm breathing in in here. I don't really know. So my 30 minutes is almost up. Sorry guys, I feel real queasy in here. Who knows what was in here, but whatever it is, it's making me feel nauseous. That's Chris. Chris is right outside. Heard voices in here, I think. Could have been road noise. I'm not saying, maybe, you know, I'm not definitively saying it's voices, but it sounded like that. Definitely heard what sounded like. Something came up to my ear and went like, <laughs> Again, road noise? I don't know. Definitely bangs around this place. Now, we were out back, and there's nobody back there. Chris is out front, so it's like somebody walked up. He's on the live stream, so... Um, I don't know. Some of it could be attributed to an old building making noises, but there were two very hard bangs and a lot of little, like, boom, boom, boom around this place. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Ooh, I know at this point, um, you know, in the in the a lot of times in the past we've staged videos and things like that. And and again, I'm not saying that we won't do that in the future, but um, this place does give me the heebie-jeebies. And there's no staging going on now. We're just having fun making videos. And I clearly heard what sounded like a growl in my ear, and I can't get over that. It makes me feel like. See, right there, like, it's like something's back there. I also think, like, in, I believe in the power of our minds, and I believe that, like, you can manifest stuff. Like, if you believe it in your head, that's what your reality becomes. And I think that some of this that we capture is because we're either sensitive to it, we believe it, uh, or at, at some level something follows us you know and I, I really believe that to be true and that was really one of the reasons why like doing these videos it, I started getting depressed at sometimes like it, it affects you you know if you let it I don't let it anymore I kind of look at the lighthearted approach um, yeah this is a creepy place Anyway, I did my 30 minutes. Uh, I see the camera timer is back on. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have fun. Um, sorry guys, my camera actually shuts off at 30 minutes. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna go join the live. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's certainly a fun thing to do. Um, I think if you're not careful, it could be a very risky, dangerous thing to do because you open yourself up to something, you know. And even if you're like making ghost videos and you're just having fun, and even if you're, you know, staging videos, there is a certain element of risk involved in that. And I think that because we manifest some things, I believe that they'll play, either one, play along with you, or two, um, it becomes your reality in some weird way. That's no, hard to explain. 
Anyway, guys. Something just went <sighs> again. And again. All right. I'm out. Uh, Chris's turn. Love and peace.